in my messy kitchen. I decided to cook something simple. It's just going to be ground beef, no, not ground beef, ground veal. Ground veal and potatoes. I was, you know, I watch all these survival videos and, you know, they cook simple, oh, I cook simple food too. But anyway, that's what I'm cooking right here. So it's going to be this here and then, oh look, see my friends gave me a scotch bonnet and some Hungarian hot peppers, so I'm going to throw those in. Got my spot. And look what I use now. I'm using this instead of instead of oil. It, it's good for you. It's healthy for you. So anyway, I'm using that. And, and onions. And then I'm going to put the veal, ground veal in there. So since I've only got like my one hand, I'll have to do this in pieces. So I'm going to let the potatoes go. And then I'll put it together. So I'm going to start I'm going to start chopping. Like I always think I could do this with one hand. But I can't. I'm going to try. Okay. There we go. Over there. And <laughs> yeah, it's a little hard. So I got my okay, I got my sweatshirt on. It's like pretty cold out there. Look, it's raining. Anyway, let me get this. Now, I do believe I'm going to need both hands. But, oops. <laughs> oops, oops, oops. Oh, darn. Here, I did it. So I'm going to chop this up. Oops. Hm. I could do this. See? Oh, that's fine. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's just going to get eaten and digested. So, here's what it looks like. So, I got that. I'm going to throw them in here where I had the spices. And these guys are cooking. I don't think I'll put the sweet peppers in. I'll just, oh, here it is. Here's the hot pepper. I put that in last because... If it cooks, it cooks out the um, the heat. And what's the sense of having a pepper if it's not hot, right? Okay, well, I got to do some more chopping, and I need two hands. So there's my uh, mess that's going to be turn into a wonderful little casserole. I got to go find. Oh, there's the veal. <laughs> I thought I lost it. Anyway, okay. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna put this in here. Ooh, a little farther, okay. And then I'll put the meat in, and I got my hot peppers all chopped up over here. <gasps> I'm gonna... Oh, I lick my fingers and it's hot. I think I'll save the scotch bonnets for something. I took those out. I'll put those on top. But right now I'm gonna, gonna do this. Oh, I forgot to put the garlic in. But I will. I will, I will, I will. I hope that's enough onions. Oh, there's some garlic. Yeah, I didn't forget it. Anyway, I could always put it in. There. And now we'll... For some, you know, I'm left-handed, but for some things, like... Crumbling meat. I need my right hand. I don't know why. Okay. All right, so I need both hands again, so I'll be right back. I didn't think I had enough veal in there, so I went. I was going to get more veal, but I found some 
some lamb. So I'm going to go totally Mideastern and do lamb and veal, and I'll put the spices in, but you got to put it, <laughs> got to defrost it, and then I'll put it right in there. Okay, so there we go. I got this. I put the spices in there. I put what I put. I put the paprika. I got my Aleppo peppers, regular black pepper, and then the masala. And I got some other stuff. I don't know. I always overdo it with the spices because I don't use salt. I put sumac at the end. As I remember, it turns it black. But anyway, and, and it, it's better when you put the sumac in at the end. As soon as the lamb's defrosted, I'll put that in. And then I'll put the peppers in. And then I'll put the tomatoes on top. And I'll put this whole thing in the oven. And have a casserole. I'm debating. No, you don't put cheese because. No, not on this one. Alrighty. This is what I got now. I got. I put the peppers in there, get the lamb going on, so it's lamb and veal, onions, garlic, and I put the Hungarian wax peppers in, and I'm going to put the potatoes in on top. I wonder how that'll fit in the oven. I don't know, but that's what I'm going to do, and... Oh, like I said, that's all I got is like the sumac. Whoop, here it is. I'll put that in at the end and when you're ready to eat it. So it looks good. Smells smells pretty really stern because I like I said, I overdo the spices all the time, but you know they cook out so it's not gonna be overbearingly, overwhelmingly spicy. I'm sure it'll be just right. Okay. Okay, so there we go. I put the potatoes on top. Oh, you know what? <laughs> I should have. I might transfer it to it. No, no, I'm going to leave it just like this. I was going to put it in a smaller pan, but no, leave it the way it is. It's not like I'm running a restaurant. Okay, I'm going to put this into the oven for about 45 minutes until the potatoes are crispy, so... um. Here I go. Okay, here's the finished product. I'm gonna taste it. Actually, I made this because a friend of mine's coming over, so I really don't want to eat it, but I'm gonna taste it. Hmm, it's pretty good. A little hot though. Okay, I'm gonna taste it. Uh, it's hot. Mm. Actually, you know, I think I might have put the wrong combination of spice. I mean, it's good, but I don't know. I don't think I should have put the masala in it. However, I'm sure it will get eaten. I'll throw some sour cream on top. That would taste good too. So we'll eat this later. I'm gonna taste one more. I'm gonna put it in a casserole dish, make it look nicer. Okay. Pretty spicy though, which is what I wanted. It's okay. No, it's good. It's good. That's my meal.